there. Oh my goodness, I'm excited about this one, you guys. Easy, easy summer meal where you can just open some things up and put them together, almost. There's a few things that you can add, but um, I got this idea from my good friend, Kim Crispino. Hi, Kim, I told you I was gonna feature you, so sorry, deal with it. <laughs> she apparently made some amazing salad for 4th of July. I didn't get to witness it, but people were raving and I needed to know. So she told me about what she made and you guys, it involves package, sorry, I have my glove on because I'm gonna pick something hot up in a second. Packaged tortellini, um, super easy. It takes like five minutes to throw into some boiling water. Best thing though is the salad can just be a room temperature salad. And salad is really, it's our dinner. Um, but it can be um, room temperature, which is, which is awesome. And then you can see over my shoulder, I've got some sausages. I'm gonna grill those up because I'm trying to make it more of like a full meal for Scott and I, so some grilled sausages. And then you can open up a jar of pesto. I made mine homemade because Scott can't have nuts, but jar of pesto and then tomatoes. Now the tomatoes you could do um, fresh if you wanted and just like slice up some little grape tomatoes. It's colorful, it's pretty, it feels fresh, it feels summery. You could probably add in um, uh, like sliced, like bigger tomatoes if you wanted. I did slow roasted. So apparently the recipe called for like a, those like tomatoes that are, that you kind of candy. And I've done a video before, look it up if you want all the scoop, but slow roasted tomatoes, they're really sweet. They kind of have a, just a really deep flavor. They're so good. So those will go in there. And then burrata cheese. Burrata people are like, what? You're it's too much, it's confusing. No, it's not. Burrata is simply mozzarella, like a fresh mozzarella ball. And then in the center is mozzarella cream, you guys fine burrata. They sell it at a lot more grocery stores these days. I get mine at Trader Joe's. It's five bucks for two balls of burrata. So I'll cut that up into kind of pieces and like put it over the top of the tortellini tossed with pesto and some tomato and boom, some grilled sausages. Dinner is served. Let's go. Okay. okay. So my tortellini is all cooked up and this is just cheese, but you could totally do meat tortellini. Sorry if it's steaming the camera, it really is fresh. This is two packages. It's not a ton, um, but it says it's four servings. But once you add all this stuff in, that's why I added the meat. I think it will be plenty for us to then also have leftovers. So Tyler might even have a little. Here's my fresh homemade pesto. Oh my gosh, the best. I'm just doing a big heaping scoop. That's about, right there, that's probably about half a cup. Um, and I'm just gonna gently fold this in the heat of the pasta will kind of help um, warm up that pesto. And actually, I did find out a little trivia for you. Pistou, P-I-S-T-O-U, is technically the name for pesto without nuts. So, but much, I always just say pesto because people don't know what I'm talking about if I say a pistou typically. Um, anyways, so get this all tossed in. Oh, it's such a pretty color, you guys. I love that. In fact, I'm gonna do just a touch more because I think it can handle it. I love pesto. So what I'm gonna do once I get this all folded in here is, it's so simple, this is basically it. And you can just let this kind of cool down and be at room temperature. And what I will do is right here next door, I've got my burrata. So my burrata came in this little um, package like this. Here's the sign. You guys can see that, I think I have it the right way. Um, and it's packed in some, some water, so it looks like a fresh mozzarella, mozzarella ball, but inside, see how spongy it is? That's because inside is mozzarella cream. So I'll cut this into pieces and then quickly scoop it on top of um, this pasta, and it'll kind of melt into that and be all ooey gooey and yummy. Tucker really likes it. And then I also had a fresh yellow heirloom tomato, and then I'm gonna top it with some of this. So you can kind of see what I got going on here. I'm just gonna cut this into pieces. And obviously this is like all about presentation. If you're doing it for a crowd, it's just me and Scott. So I'm not super concerned about making it overly fancy, but you get the idea with that. And then I'm gonna put a few of these yellow tomatoes around the edge. Those are gonna be so yummy. And then let me rinse my hands. And then these guys, my little roasted uh, roasted uh, tomatoes will just get piled right in the middle. So you guys, this is like 
colorful, and you totally don't even have to do the roasted tomatoes. I mean, I think that that will kick it up a notch, but you could do fresh, um, but you get the idea. A little bit of pesto, some tortellini, and the best part, like I said, is this can be room temperature and you're ready to go. So next up, taste testing, my favorite part, I'll show you in a sec. All right, my favorite part, taste test time. <laughs> so look how pretty that turned out. I did arrange it all nice in my bowl with um, little pieces of burrata and some of that fresh heirloom and then the slow roasted tomatoes. I made it fancier than you certainly need to because the idea with this one is quick and easy. I did start this meal probably 15 minutes ago and I even had to do like switching with my little light thingy and stopping and saying, hey Scott, come film me. <laughs> so it really is fast. Store-bought refrigerated tortellini, meat, cheese, whatever you want to have in it. Tucker's real excited about this one. Store-bought pesto if you need to. I did mine fresh. Some cheese, although you could take or leave that, but I love the burrata. And then the slow-roasted tomatoes. Again, something you could do. You could also just do fresh. So you can whip this one together really easy on a hot summer night. And you can even do it in the afternoon and then just leave it room temp and it's ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit of some cheese right here and a tomato because I want all the things because this is called Delight of the Bite after all. And it's all about that yummy bite. So here we go. <laughs> wow. Not only is it pretty, <laughs> it's ridiculously tasty. Whoa, it's like a flavor bomb in your mouth with the tomato, the pesto, the cheese tortellini, this fresh burrata, which is again, just mozzarella filled with mozzarella cream. You can't go wrong there, right? I might need a little second evaluation. Mm-hmm. Wow, you guys, this is outstanding. You need to try this. Easy summer meal. Oh, and look at little grilled sausage on the side. Remember I told you? Mm-hmm. Got my protein going. Perfect meal, dinner is served. Those were pre-cooked uh, sausages, by the way. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> I took too big a bite. It happens. I'm not a professional. Oh my word. Okay. The light of the bite. <laughs> Subscribe, share. The other ones might be a little more professional, I promise. Thanks for watching. Happy summer. Hope you're doing something fun.